Two more to go, and we always say in Hebrew, the best are last. Uh, so Ilana, take that as a compliment. Uh, you are our, our next uh, speaker. Uh, Ilana is a, a dear friend here from Israel, co-founder and CEO of Ta'al. Um, uh, and she's going to share with us assistive technology enabling inclusivity in employment for workers with cognitive disability and mental health issues. Um, Ilana, please. Okay, thank you, Michal, and thank you for having me at this amazing webinar. I work so hard in these webinars because I'm always so right here. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, what do I look like? Um, I'm, I'm going to use what my granddaughter said. She says I look like Elsa because my hair is white. And I have a scarf on. I'm sitting in my office surrounded by whiteboards like a good startup company does. Um, I want to connect with many of you after the webinar, and I've been working, sending off LinkedIn's. And I'm going to start with a small video. It's late, and I'd rather you see something, uh, 90 seconds of a video, and then I will describe what we do, if that's okay. Can you see the video? Yeah? Yes, we can. Okay, the sound is just music, so if you can't hear it, there's no, no tremendous loss. showing is all the different parts of the platform. There are four parts to the platform. I'll describe a little bit more in detail when we finish. in Arabic means come. My, the co-founder is the wonderful special ed expert from East Jerusalem. I happen to grow up in, across the street, but it's called West Jerusalem. And, um, and we developed Khan a few years ago with the goal of making the public space more accessible for people with cognitive disabilities. Then two weeks into COVID pandemic or this shutdown, we caught our heads and said, okay, we just made the public space accessible and it's closed. So what are we going to do? And we did what's called the startup talk uh, pivot and said, let's focus on a major, major challenge. It's going to face society after COVID. And obviously that was employment at the time. Everyone, everybody with disabilities had been laid off and people with cognitive disabilities and mental health issues, they can't jump right back on the horse. And we created Tile Work. Um, I'll show Tile Work is actually uh, an app with a back end to the app. The app is held by the worker on the job. The back end is what the employers will upload all the job tasks onto the back end. I'll show you a demonstration of how. Okay, so we have the task from the employers and the secret sauce is that we break down the tasks into micro tasks because we want to. Uh, supply the workers with the tasks at the level of understanding that they can deal with and they follow them step by step. The idea is also to make this all as simple as possible for employers because employers are very hesitant to add to their managerial burden. So we created a system that's convenient and easy and personalized for the workers and also very um, effective for the employers themselves. I'll show you uh, the system that we built the roots. So we have a back end that has a list of job tasks on it. And what we do is we choose a root and then we can add to the, we can add to the list of job tasks 
These are now the job tasks that a specific user will receive. We can see them in uh, this form, and we can also see them in the simulated um, form for the mobile app. This is what the worker will receive, and the app now, it goes step by step. All the user has to do is scroll through the app. Each time the user scrolls, the worker scrolls through the app, the data is collected, and we now know how, how, um, uh, how, accurate the work, job route is for the specific for the specific user the specific user and if they're advancing if it's too difficult if there are challenges that we have to deal with why are we doing all this because we're all in agreement that dei has to be expanded the numbers and also the social attitude is that we should expand dei but in order to do this at a very large scale we're going to have to add technology to the formula because currently, DEI it relies on almost one to five, one to six coaching, somebody facilitating somebody with mental or with cognitive disabilities. And this coaching model is not scalable and it's not sustainable. With our technology, what happens is that those same coaches or employers can now hire more people and using our platform can enable many more users to be hired. Another thing we're giving them is autonomy. This is something that many speakers spoke about, the fact that the workers will be autonomous on the job. Using our app, they're now autonomous. They don't rely on somebody that will constantly be telling them where they should go and what should they be doing. Another thing research shows that um, job the attrition on the job is mostly caused by a glass ceiling, that workers are very, very frustrated with the fact that nobody enables them to advance. You've spoke about this before. They're underemployed. If, even if they are employed, they're underemployed below their capabilities. And very few managers and employers are willing to put in the time to teach them new tasks and to enable them to advance. And like anybody else, this is very frustrating. With this platform, they can actually advance along the job force, face new challenges, deal with them. Their pride in the platform is immense. We've tried and tested it with many with many users up till now. I'm just going to show you some screenshots of our users. I know we're very late. Um, so we have Rami, who works in Azlieri Group, and he's so pleased. He was very, very hesitant. He said, this is never going to work. And then he says, ah, but it does. We have Yaniv, who I will always quote him because he was overjoyed when he said, this is like ways. Now I know where to go at work. Now I can get to places that I have to get to on the job. And we have Danny, who his aim is to work in the coffee shop where he works in advanced to managerial um, stages. And he can actually do that with this app. So it's very brief. It's very late. I'm exhausted. You must also be. But I'm I'd be very happy to demo this to anybody on this uh, webinar. And to show you the whole system, it's kind of hard to show three years of R&D in seven minutes. I look forward to being in contact with all of you. Back to you, Michal.